Hey, this is Lulu from Lulu and Tommy. Um, we, we we thought let's let's make some videos or some screen captures which uh, which shows us working on our designs and, and talk a little bit about how we do things. Maybe give some tips or tricks or I don't know. Maybe I'll end up rambling the whole video. I don't know. This is the first time ever that I that we do a video like this, uh, or that I even narrate a video. So, so yeah, please, uh, please bear with me. Um, so yeah, let, let, I wanted to talk about color a bit. Um, there's a poster we've made a, f a while ago with uh, weird fishes. And as you can see on the left here, you see a, a palette of, um, of eight colors. And uh, that's that's the way we usually work. We we pick uh, pick some colors that we like, and then um, make a palette. Uh, in this case, it's it's eight colors, but sometimes it's like three or four, and other times it's like ten colors. But usually, not more than ten. We we like to keep it simple and and, and balanced. So, um, so we make this this palette, and uh, we keep it on the side of the drawing. And, uh, and then you can use the eyedropper to easily pick the colors like I'm doing right now. And, and then we just play around with it and, and uh, see which color works best for each shape and each place um, in the whole design. It's, uh, it's always about balance. Try to figure out how to spread the colors evenly. The, the palettes we choose is uh, usually we, we, we pick a f one or two light colors. In this case, it's, it's uh, the light blue and the yellow. Take some mid-tones like the, the, the orange and the green. And, uh, and there's always a dark color. We always need a dark color. The dark color is really important. The dark color makes sure that, that there's a nice contrast in the design. And, uh, and it also makes the, the other colors really pop, like the, the, the bright colors. And, and then it's just play around. We play around with the with the colors and the shapes. Uh, just, uh, just try if maybe this fish has to be green or it has to be yellow or red or black or whatever. Uh, we're all constantly uh, swapping, shifting the colors, seeing where it ends, which one which one looks best. And maybe we'll return to the shape and decide to give it another color in the end. Uh, it, maybe you've noticed, but um, or not. Uh, this palette started off a little bit um, um, different in the beginning of the video, and then during the process, we decided, okay, let's let's try a little bit different colors. Let's make them. Um, we, well, I don't know. I don't know why we just didn't like the colors we had, so we decided to swap it uh, with, with a little bit different colors. Basically, it's the same. But, um, what we always do is we, when we have a sketch, we, we put a, the sketch on a layer in the background, and then we start uh, add, add one layer with the background color, and then we start drawing over that color. It's a, for us, it's important that we have a background color ready so that we can build on top of that color. That way, you can immediately see how it's, how it's working. If you have to change the color in the end, in the background, it's it's quite hard to to keep the perfect balance of the whole design. So uh, that was about it. I wanted to talk a little bit more about it, but the video is about to end. It was uh, it's, it's a little bit shorter than I expected, but oh well, maybe maybe in some up in, in another video. Who knows? Okay. This uh, this is this is how, how the poster ended up looking like. We did this for an exhibition a while ago. Uh, yeah, well, hopefully this was somewhat entertaining or interesting. I don't know. Um, if you liked it or you didn't like it, just let us know in the comments. Um, leave a tips or things we should or we shouldn't do or talk about maybe. Just let us know. Anyway. It's Thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully see you in the next video if you decide to make one. Cheers!